How do you define cute? Well, that's actually kind of tricky because it's subjective. What I find cute, you may not. With that said, I took on this hard task and went through a few of my bird books and picked out 10 birds that I thought to be the cutest in North America. It was no easy task. Please keep in mind that these are birds I find to be the cutest. You may not agree, and that is perfectly fine. You can comment below what your top 10 would be. I'd love to read yours. Here we go. Number 10. American Goldfinches. These charming and pleasant bright yellow finches are small, measuring just 4 to 5 inches in length, and that's from the tip of their bill to the tip of their tail. So tiny. The black cap of males make them look even more adorable, and even the goldfinch's contact call has a cute sound, often described as sounding like potato chip. Often they are compared to the sun, like winged sunshine, and they are welcome and common visitors at feeders where they eat sunflower and niger seeds. In fact, seeds are the bulk of their diet. They are strictly vegetarian birds. Even their nestlings are fed seeds, no insects. Luckily, they are fairly widespread and can be found across southern Canada from British Columbia to the island of Newfoundland and through most of the United States north of the Gulf and southwestern states. Number 9. Dark-Eyed Juncos Juncos are medium-sized sparrows that are often referred to as snowbirds because they seem to show up to feeders in winter, but actually they live year-round in most of their range. These guys come in a variety of flavors. In fact, up to 15 different subspecies of dark-eyed junco are recognized, which are usually divided into five, sometimes six major groups. Slate-colored junco, white-winged junco, Oregon junco, pink-sided junco, and gray-headed junco. These dark-eyed beauties can be seen hopping around under feeders as they feed on fallen seeds, and they can be found through parks too. In fact, they are very common in parks. With a short, stout, pinkish bill, small, rounded head, and a cute seat seat noise they make as they fly around, how could you not find them adorable? And just look at them hopping on the ground. Seriously cute. Number 8. Greater and Lesser Yellow Legs I chose both of them because they are very similar except for size. Anyway, it may seem like an odd choice, but look at those long, still like yellow legs, and the way they bob their upper body up and down. I especially love it when they run around. And look at this guy trying to take a nap. Oh my, so cute. Most of their foraging takes place in shallow water, especially outside of their breeding season. To see these guys, you will have to get out to the riverbanks, lake shores, and marshes. Number 7. Downy Woodpecker The smallest woodpecker in North America, measuring just 5.5 to 6.5 inches. Such a tiny woodpecker. In fact, they aren't much larger than the white-breasted nuthatch. Woodpeckers are pretty cute anyway, but one as tiny as this is seriously adorable. I just want to pick it up and pet them. The great thing is that it's easy to attract these cuties to your backyard just by offering soot. But don't confuse them with their look-alike, the hairy woodpecker who is much larger. Just look at them. They are so cute. Number 6. Hummingbirds. Super tiny and incredibly fascinating. They are sure to delight as they flit about flowers, and if you have hummingbirds in your area, you can offer sugar water to them and watch them from the comfort of your home, or you can plant the right kind of flowers, too. The calliope hummingbird is the smallest bird species in North America and measures just 3 inches long. Surprisingly, considering the small size of hummingbirds, they can be quite aggressive, oftentimes even attacking jays, crows, and hawks that infringe on their territory. Also, in many cases, there is one dominant hummingbird that guards all of the feeders, chasing intruders away. I'm not really sure why it is, but that just seems to make them so much more adorable. I guess it has something to do with how small they are. Number 5. Nuthatches. Now these guys are cute. They are super fun to watch, too, as they climb up trees. And you know what's even more neat? They can even walk headfirst down a tree. This is thanks to extra long toes, strong legs, sharp claws, and short tails. I've always found that these guys look like adorable tiny woodpeckers. Super cute. I think the thing that makes them even more cute is just how feisty, curious, and bold these guys can be. I mean, don't they know how small they are? I don't think so. 
They have huge personalities and are so chatty. Let me tell you, their sounds add to their cuteness. Just listen. I mean, come on, that is some pretty cute sounds. Luckily, there are four species in North America, and they will visit backyard feeders that offer peanuts and soot. And check out these tiny guys, the pygmy and brown-headed nuthatch. They measure just three and a half to four and a half inches in length. They are almost as small as some hummingbirds, and they are the smallest nuthatches in the world. Number four. Enormous eyes, a round head, and so, so, so tiny. They measure just 7 inches in length with a wingspan of 17 inches, making them to be the smallest owl in eastern North America. Oh my gosh, I just want to hug it. <laughs> if I were to ever see one of these owls, I think I would burst. Luckily for me, they have just recently been confirmed as residents of the island of Newfoundland, my home province, so I'm stoked and hope to see one someday soon. The reason we love big-eyed animals like the Sawed Owl is because we are hardwired to notice human babies who have large eyes compared to their head. This cuteness makes us more liable to interact with, care for, and defend babies. To us, anything big-eyed registers as innocent and vulnerable. Number 3. Plovers. Here come the big eyes and rounded head again. Plovers have plump bodies, short necks, and short bills, and though they aren't the most brightly colored, many do have strongly marked plumage patterns of black, white, and brown that are conspicuous in flight. When it comes to animation, cute always works. Pixar obviously knew that making a short about piping plovers, titled Piper, could be one adorable and heartwarming film, and that it undeniably was. The best thing, though, is that the animated short brought some much-needed attention to this endangered species. Hopefully the cuteness of piping plovers will be enough to get people serious about doing their part to help protect them from extinction. Number 2. Chickadees. Okay, admit it, you were starting to worry that I wasn't going to mention chickadees. These guys are the cutest of the cute. With their likable song, Chickadee Dee Dee, for which they were named, their curious nature of people, that oversized round head, tawny body, and those sweet little eyes, I mean seriously adorable. Then you have their tough-like nature, which seems to imply that they really don't know how small they are, or at least they don't care. Just as with the red-breasted nuthatch, the black-capped chickadee too has a very big personality. They really know how to be cute on all levels. And we are lucky because there are seven species in North America and they are common visitors to backyard feeders, especially during winter. They don't eat at feeders like most other birds, so they have this busy look to them as they go back and forth collecting seeds to carry off elsewhere to eat or hide away for later feeding. The black-capped chickadee, the most common and well-known of the seven species, has a call males sing in spring that sounds like they are saying, hey sweetie. Although recently I've been hearing more and more people saying that it sounds like they are saying cheeseburger, which I guess it does sound that way. But for now, I'm sticking with Hey Sweetie because it's just so cute. Number 1. Kinglets. These cute and energetic guys are the same size as the pygmy and brown-headed nuthatch I mentioned earlier, measuring just 3.5 to 4.5 inches. If you can get one to stay still long enough to look at, I'm certain that you will be like, "Oh, it's so cute! My favorite, the ruby crown kinglet, is the cutest of the kinglets in my opinion. Their song is surprisingly very loud one too, considering its small size. And they are super curious. I've been stuck by so many of these little birds. Like seriously, Pixar needs to do an animated short of these guys. Cuteness overload. So that's my top 10 cutest birds of North America. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you agreed or disagreed with any of my choices and why. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. Happy birding!